Welcome to the fifth day of anime, where my true wife who gave to me Black Butler, Book of Atlantic. Specifically, Elizabeth. Spoiler warning, by the way. Black Butler is one of my favorite anime series. When I was first starting to get into the medium, it was one of the first shows I watched, and I liked the first two seasons quite a bit, even if I understand some of the issues people have with the second. But then, several years passed and Book of Circus came out, and I really wondered how much I would like it since, since in that time, I had grown as an anime watcher and I wasn't just a tasteless casual. Okay, maybe I was and still am, but beside the point. I really did like Book of Circus, though, finding it the best season of Black Butler yet. Then, Book of Murder was another solid addition to the franchise, and these shows were some of my favorite from the years they came out. And then, just this past year and was able to match the quality of Book of Circus and will likely be among my top 10 anime of the year. So with how much I like this series, it is strange I haven't done a full video on it yet. Sure, I did mention it in my top anime of 2014-2015 videos, but those get buried with all the other shows. So I figure it's time to give the series some of the attention it deserves. Book of Atlantic really highlights what the show does well with all the action and suspense, not to mention some great plot twists. This arc really raised the stakes, giving Sebastian opponents that rivaled his power and actually managed to wound him. But the thing that stood out to me most about the show were revelations about two of the side characters. One, I will let you go see for yourself, but the other is Elizabeth, and that's what I want to talk about today. Elizabeth is a character that seems pretty easy to figure out. She is a cute girl who loves Seo, and I guess doesn't really stand out that much. But she does have an enduring personality with how much she cares about Seo, and that serves as a great contrast to the dark and selfish personalities of Seo and Sebastian. But over time, we do see Ciel grow to care about Elizabeth, or Lizzie as he calls her, someone he truly sees as more than just a means to an end. Which makes things even harder for him when the ship is attacked by zombies, putting all the passengers' lives in danger. Luckily, Ciel has Sebastian to protect him, and a butler that cannot protect his master from zombies is not worth his salt. But in addition to the zombies, the characters also have to deal with a few soul reapers here to collect the souls of all who are going to die. And they have quite a grudge against Sebastian, so yeah. This all leads to the scene that I want to highlight today, where there are zombies all around Ciel, Lizzie, and Sebastian, and the Soul Reapers decide now would be a good time to fight Sebastian. Ciel and Lizzie try running, but Ciel trips and injures his leg. The zombies soon surround Lizzie, and while Ciel tries to stop them by shooting them, he quickly runs out of bullets, and then Lizzie says the truly haunting line, I wanted you to think of me as cute until the end. It was at this point I wondered if the show would actually do it. If they would be willing to kill Lizzie off here, tear away the one person that was Ciel's anchor to humanity. They seemed to have no hope. Sebastian was fighting the Soul Reaper, Ciel couldn't move, and there weren't any other characters nearby to help them. And then Lizzie busted out a couple swords and started to slice her way through the zombies in a way that would make her right at home in Kabanari. And I absolutely love this twist for a lot of reasons. In fact, it is probably one of the best examples of how to do a plot twist in anime. Sure, it may not be as grand or world-changing as others out there, but all the elements are here to make it work wonderfully. First of all, it's cool. It is so much fun to see Lizzie fight her way through the zombies, saving Tail, doing things that we never thought a character like her could do. A lot of the action in Black Butler is really cool based, like the reason Sebastian uses his silverware as his weapon of choice, or just his style with everything. And it doesn't get much cooler than a chick fighting zombies with a couple swords, especially when we are still in shock that this is actually happening and Lizzie is the one doing it. But the reason the twist works so well is because of the misdirection but also how logical the twist is. All throughout the series, Lizzie has been built up as a cute girl, though she can be strong with her love for Ciel. Even during the movie, we see her caring about being cute for Ciel, even as they are in danger with her line right before she starts fighting, encompassing all of this. The logic comes in with how we saw her family being skilled swordsmen and the strength that she had shown through the series though it was more mental than physical. Plus, there's the fact that most of the cast has some type of hidden talent for fighting, or at least those close to CL, so this twist should not be much of a surprise. Another thing I like about the twist is how it appears to have a lasting impact, especially on CL and Lizzie's relationship. If he can see her not as just a cute girl who he wants to protect, she could really be his partner as he fights the evil in the world and goes after his revenge. Though we'll have to see what future installments of the series hold. 
This also lets us see and understand more about her character and who she is, making her more than just a cute moral anchor. I also really like the battle here because of how the stakes are different for Lizzie. All throughout the series, she has wanted to be seen as cute by Seal so much that she is hiding who she really is. So by being forced to fight like this, she has lost what really mattered to her, making her triumph sort of tragic, and this extra layer of complexity adds a lot to the fight. So that concludes part one of my 12-part series of why Black Butler is awesome. Okay, not really, because 12-part series are a terrible idea and I should never do them again. Well, they are kind of fun, but still, never again. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow or today or however I do this to catch up. Goodbye.